Monday Morning House Call, sponsored by Appalachian Regional Healthcare. Welcome back inside Mountain News this morning. Today we're being joined by Alicia Cook. She is a family nurse practitioner over at Jenkins ARH, the Family Care Center there. Thank you so much for joining Thank us you. this morning. Today we're talking about Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. um, can you kind of explain to us what that is? We hear about it a lot, mm -hmm. but sometimes we don't understand exactly what mm -hmm. it is. Well, first there is, uh, I need to tell you about dementia. Alzheimer's is one type of dementia. And dementia is a brain disorder that causes memory problems. Uh, it causes some problems with uh, their abilities to organize their daily activities. And so Alzheimer's is just one type of dementia, which is the uh, problems with memory. Okay, what are some of the symptoms that we might see in maybe Alzheimer's or mm -hmm. dementia itself? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you know, we all lose our keys from time to time. We all need those clappers on our key rings. But if you, for instance, put you, if the person put their keys in an unusual place uh, in the freezer, uh, those kinds of things, those are some things, some decisions that they make that are unusual. Um, one thing is uh, memories of long ago things are easily for them to recover more easily than uh, things that they've done more recently. Uh, problems are uh, being able to care for themselves, uh, remembering to eat, remembering to uh, change their clothes, those kinds of things. Those are some symptoms that you might see. What and what's the prevalence of Alzheimer's, or, or what are some of the populations that are most at risk for this? We usually see those things uh, after age 65. You'll see changes, and like uh, probably one third of the people of the population in America. Uh, may have uh, symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. But as people age, which is going to happen, you know, because we're an older uh, population now, if you are 85 years of age or older, it may be more than 50% of those people. Wow, that's, I mean, that's a lot. What, what would the economic impact of that be? Well, they anticipate that by 2050, the cost will be over $200 trillion dollars for the care of those people with that disease. And what are there any prevention measures that maybe some people can take for this? The most important thing is keeping your mind as active as possible, especially learning new things. Try to learn something new every day, every week. Uh, that's very good, keeping your body and your mind active. Uh, if your body's in good shape, then you may be able to postpone those types of problems. Also, uh, making sure that you eat a good, healthy diet, especially with uh, brain foods, uh, fish. Okay. All righty. Well, Alicia, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you. Lots of helpful information. Well, Chef Walter is next.